Hello, I'm Fotis from Septic Flash and you're watching Loud TV. No, it's not a concept album, but it has also 10 different stories like each album that we made. So every one of uh, the album has uh, their own uh, stories to tell. It's like a different book, let's say. And uh, in, this, in this kind of genre, we are, I think, we, we tried to make our music sound like it's a m movie like you can put it in a movie and it can sound like a soundtrack because it's it's one each song has a different story to tell and it's different has different character would you That's like really to, to write for cinema we will write and we tried to do this but it's really difficult it's uh, about publishing companies doing this and it's not easy you know it's not something that it's done just like that but we we try you know to put uh, our music in films I don't know. It will fit, I think, to horror movies, maybe with uh, hero movies, mm -hmm. something, like, something like Dark Knight, you know, like this kind of movies would be good. You know something? It's, uh, it was difficult because uh, Logan Mader didn't have uh, any work to show having doing with, uh, you know, bands with orchestras, doing with samples like this, uh, choirs. He did bands like Gojira, he did bands like... Uh, Dagoba? Dagoba, exactly. And he did also uh, Cavalera Conspiracy. Stuff like this that had really heavy guitars, really fat drums, you know, really fat sound. But he didn't have something like this. And, uh, you know, we just tried to do our best and have the final result. But we wanted this American sound into, you know, having a blend with the orchestra, because we, we never did this. We always had a, a producer that, and, uh, that he would mix our album and he would bring this European sound. I believe in this, uh, in this album we brought the, the fat sound, the American sound that he has, with the orchestras that our European <laughs> stuff is doing. That was the really difficult part because we have too many channels. Imagine that one song had around 300 channels, only the orchestra, only the orchestra. And uh, it was really difficult because we had uh, something like this on the, on the emails saying, for example, you know, to decrease something, increase something, you know, do some automations that you have to be there to do it. Uh, but the final result was uh, really good. Painful, but good. <laughs> Painful for him. This time we used also children choir, which we never done before. Uh, the, the result you can listen to prototype and uh, you know songs like um, I think in Prometheus as well. It's uh, you know we used it really. Uh, you know, in a smart way that we've never done before and use it on the chorus also. So I think this is one thing that we've never done and you can hear the difference and people liked it. Uh, and I think the, the orchestra now, since you work so many years, they know how to, you know, they, they know our music now. Okay. They're okay because it's the same people. Uh, not in the whole album, not in the whole album. Uh, there are some songs that uh, Sotiris is again the main man, let's say, in the chorus. Like First Immortal, like Ground Zero, uh, Burn, which in Burn he, he used his, uh, let's say, gothic side. As Sotiris he's really big fan of uh, Fields of the Nephilim and he used also his deep, you know, down, you know, uh, low voice, low tune the voice. And uh, the final, I think the, you know, I, I, I don't agree that it's too few songs. I think that it's as much as uh, Sotiris can handle. 
because um, you know sometimes when you when you have too many tours and you cannot play those songs live it's not good it's not good because you know on, on the samples not always the best to have the pre-recorded vocals we can do yeah yeah it's not good His role is always and will be really important. He writes all the lyrics, he writes music, uh, he contributes a lot to the band and he, he has, you know, this unique voice that we needed. Uh, we, would, we wouldn't use it, you know, we don't want to use his voice, you know, just bef because it's re it, it sounds good. It's because the song needs this thing. It, it needs, for example, a chorus like this with his voice. Yes, we will play live. I'm not going to wear this because I, cannot, I don't have the flexibility to, to play on the drum set what I play on the album. But I uh, will wear something similar. But the guys on the front, yes, they will wear this kind of suits because it's the new, the new era of Septic Class. It's not something that we never done before. If you see Sumerian Diamonds, for example, the, there was, you know, each, 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 each guy of the band has its own character and they had something like suit. Uh, and uh, in every step that we do, for example, Communion had different style. Great Mass, different style. And you know, now with uh, uh, Titan, we have uh, these forms, let's say, these, these, these uh, costumes that they bring this era. Okay. I believe that uh, it fits to the, to the concept of the album, to the whole concept of the album. I believe, I believe by far that Titan is the best album of, uh, of Septic Flesh, but not because we all say so. Because it has this uh, different character than the previous album. Communion had more, it was more aggressive. Great Mass were more orchestra and majestic. This album has the aggressiveness of Communion and the Great Mass, you know, the orchestra of Great Mass. It's more guitar driven, that's more straightforward. That's why I believe that it's the best album, because we combine the metal and orchestra in the best way that we can.